the struggle of soccer or play by women, it's all over the world. There are, there are women trying to get better rights, better salaries, better everything. And yeah. in, in South America, we, we're still fighting. Uh, yeah. Even though it's professional, we are still fighting. And I would like yeah. to know, what do you know about South America? Do you know any, any football player? Do you know any of the girls oh, sure. here? Yeah. Of course I do. I, uh, you know, in general, South America, I know a lot of the players. I've played with a lot of them. I played with John Endler, Formiga, uh, uh, Lu, uh, Luana. Um, I've played, uh, I mean, I know Marta, uh, amazing. Um, but also, I actually also know the Argentinian uh, team very well. And the reason is uh, one of my most fond memories is because of the Argentinian team during the World Cup in 2019, where they were playing Scotland. And, you know, before that, I knew a little about Argentina. Uh, and to be honest, because I played Man City, one of my two or three of my teammates, former teammates, were from Man City. So I was wearing, a, like, you know, Scottish jersey. I came in, but I was, my tickets were just on the sideline, but with Argentinian fans. I was like, you know, what is what it is. <laughs> and I remember the fans were very, very excited. And they... Some of them were crying during the national anthem. And I was like, wow, this is, you know, the passion you can see. I, I was like, this is pretty cool. And I thought that this is going to be an easy game for Scotland, you know, because, again, I haven't heard about Argentina. I didn't even need the players. And Scotland has a decent team. 3-0 in the half time. And then I'm like, okay. But then you can see the fans going crazy or yelling, Argentina, Argentina. You know, and I was like, you know what? I want to be a part of this because it feels cool. So I, we were shouting Argentina. Then they scored to 3-1. Then he, the coach takes his best players out, the captain, number nine, 10 and number nine. And then he puts in two young players. And they were like firecrackers. I love them. And then they scored to 3-2. And when she scores the goal, this lady goes crazy. Like she slides and like crying almost. At this moment, everyone's losing their shit. And when they got the penalty and the goal's, First misses, but then VAR says, uh oh, you have to retake the penalty. This has probably been the best game I've ever watched. Like so many emotions, so much energy. So since then, I, you know what? I, that's what I feel like the South America football is about. It's very intense. A lot of passion. Yeah. Passion, intense yeah. passion, football, technical, like, you know, fight. Um, so I do, I, knew, I do know and also know their circumstances. They're not treated like greatly. Uh, they don't have, as I said, the right, like the equal opportunities that I feel they deserve. Uh, I spoke with some of the girls after the game, you know, and they're telling me that there's no even professional. Some of them had to like, you know, quit their jobs to be a part of the World Cup. And I feel sad, you know, um, and because you put so much in the game and, 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 and you sacrifice so much, but it's, it's not being respected. Uh, the same way and for me that's probably the first thing you have to do give them same respect and then same opportunities and then let them compete basically